Felix was a loving father of two very young children, a devoted son and husband, and the only child that Dr. Chris Tamar and Dr. Hubert Borden had. Felix was a professor of art who loved to teach, and he was a humanist with a deep conviction and with a seriousness of purpose way beyond his young age and the limited life experience of a 33-year-old. Felix loved the art, and he dedicated his professional life to the art. His book on the uh, Baroque painter Andreas Pozzo was published in Germany and will be published in this country this year. In, the, in this book, Felix developed the concept that the artistic values and the artistic concepts that delighted people in the Baroque period were equally relevant and important generations later, centuries later, and even to a generation grown up on video games, iPod, and text messaging. From the time of his diagnosis until his death two years later, Felix and his family mounted the most intense, imaginable effort to save his life. But as we all sadly know, by the time we make the diagnosis of advanced colon cancer, the ultimate battle is already lost. And there is a great message in that. Felix sensed this. He sensed that he will not win this war against his cancer, but he did not allow that feeling to derail him from his humanism and his concerns for others and for his love as a teacher of the art. Even at the time when he was chagrined by the knowledge that he will not be able to fulfill his dream, that he will not be there to give a protecting and guiding hand to his children, even at that difficult time, he was able to distill a message of hope and humanity, which he transferred to his parents, asking them to engage in efforts to save others from having his faith, and particularly the young people. And that's how the Felix Burda Foundation came about. And indeed, one month after his death, Krista already convened the first multidisciplinary meeting in Munich to start the Burda Foundation. And since that time, she has worked with tremendous energy, hard determination and tenacity, and if I may say, with a lot of personal charm, and she was able to propel the Felix Furda Foundation to the forefront of the fight to prevent colon cancer and to prevent death and suffering from this disease. That's why we are here today. Now, we are used to come to these medical conferences expecting to debate and discuss what is new, what is intellectually exciting, what's going to happen five or ten years from now. However, we need to recognize that the quest for new knowledge has always to be tempered in medicine by the recognition that our means are limited, and part of this means have to be dedicated to applying the knowledge that we get. Medicine is not about an intellectual endeavor. It is not theoretical physics or investigation of deep space. It's really about suffering, death, and helping people. And therefore, the non-glorified aspect of medicine, of the application of knowledge, is equally important, because only by this way we can feel, fulfill the message that Felix Borda left behind, which is a very humanistic, wonderful message. He told his parents, by extension he told us, and he told the whole world, do everything you can to prevent other young and old people from having the tragedy that I have. And that's where we are here. I hope we will all learn today, and what we learn will help save other people.